Hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas if you're still with us in your demand. Now, we have hacked this terminal, that should mean we should be able to use this once the... Once we've also done this part. I picked up the money. Okay, cool. Do you want to take the gold? Nah, I don't need to really. Grab that. Alright, well. This is what this is work, so here we go, wall control. Terminal. Alright. Yeah, we had read that before last time. So we also had this conversation last time. Alright, and now he'll come downstairs. Can I? Security system is still in lockdown. Oh, there's a vending machine here. Cool. I can return these cigarettes. Yeah. That's the priorities here. Oh, well, there's a liar. As the water door closes automatically. So that is something to consider. So what's the actual option here? Sneak out of the water chamber area, undertake the trapping in lion and help us the board. But for that to work we need to actually sneak now. Oh and that Really? Seeing what I can do to shut those turrets down from up here. Free war tech. So easy to Got it. Two of them down. Can't shut down the, the others. He's cut off access. Damn it. Put him down. Time is against him. Whatever it takes. It always Why did he ambush me? Why for the liar? Why? Also, why did you explode like that? Am I gonna explode now? I suppose I am. Oh shit. Where's the terminal that can open the things? Not here. Come on. Come on. No. Okay, that route is open. What about that way there? Is that open? No, it isn't. Peeping is really slow though, so I don't know when it will explode. The whole area seems to be exploding there. Yep. Um. Don't blow me up. Come on. Is there a way for me to get around here faster? Well, I'm gonna explode, I think. Yeah. At least this game doesn't have a sprint function. Yeah, okay, he went for the ambush again. I'm gonna reprogram the others. So. Time is again. Hello, let me have your stuff. I just want your ropes, really. I just need that. And now we can run. Not this gun. Yeah. Also saving now because I know I'm running. I'm running! Running! For my life. Oh god damn it! Crouch jumping is not a thing in this game. The minor details you can forget while playing video games. 
but you always expect to be able to crouch jump, you know? Because crouch jumping is a wonderful invention, even invention, but that's like a, an invitation mixed with an invention, and uh, it's not a real thing at all. Come on, let me out of here. Let me out of here. The gold is lost forever there. Huh. So now we just do the street again. Back on the street again. Um. What that? What set did I actually want to upgrade? I think I meant something for explosives, right? I guess I can slowly work on guns again. And anything new? No. no. God damn it! This would have been great for gold. Except I would not have been able to make it out of there. But still, I think I go with some intense train. That'll do. Like more endurance for me. Yeah. Now what? Do we just leave? I suppose so, because we didn't get any gold. So might as well. Yeah. You've heard stories of the Sierra Madre Casino. We all have. This story's different than the others. It's all in promise of beginnings. And the ending. When Dog fell in the Sierra Madre Casino, two died as one. Dog died hungry, alone, frightened. The voice in his head died with him, screaming, furious, enraged. But the voice was gone, and Dog was grateful. At least Dog was dead, and the voice needed to watch over him no more. In the moment before their lives ended, the wall between the two personalities fell. The two became silent as they saw the chain between them. Hunger and control are twin greeds, something Dog and his shadow had never realized. Dean Domino. Entertainer, singer, thief had his last show on the Sierra Madre stage. The heist he spent over 200 years planning fell apart, just as the first, by underestimating his partner's strength. Not long after the courier left the villa, the lights in the theater shut off one by one. Only Dean's hologram remained on the stage, singing silently to an empty room. Still, as consumed as he had been with its riches and ruin, the Sierra Madre had held him captive long ago. Christine, her mission complete, found new purpose as the Sierra Madre's warden. She watched over it silently, by choice. Over time, the ghost people came to see her as one of the holograms. They would watch silently as she walked among them. At times, Christine thought of the courier, who had kept Elijah's hand from her throat. The courier reminded her of the other courier she had met in the Big Empty, and wondered if the two had found each other at last. She did not think of them again until she heard the legends of the Divide. The Divide, where the two messengers, the two couriers, fought beneath an ancient flag at the edge of the world. You've heard of the Sierra Madre Casino. We all have. The legend, the curses. Some foolishness about it lying in the middle of a city of dead, a city of ghosts, buried beneath a blood red cloud, a bright, shining monument luring treasure hunters to their doom, an illusion that you can begin again, change your fortunes. Finding it, though, that's not the hard part. It's letting go. Wait a moment. 
Before you go, I... We... Hope you've enjoyed your stay. Farewells can be a time of sadness. Letting go... Difficult. As a guest of the Sierra Madre, you know that truth more than anyone. Frederick Sinclair believed one's life could be made anew every day. That fortunes were more than the wealth in your hands. Love. Life. Family. And those who will care for you. To those who know these joys, the Sierra Madre holds little they don't already have. Out in the world, beyond these walls, that is your chance to begin again. Right, that's a lot of conversation. But there's another copy of Father Elias' robes here. Surely my stuff should be around here somewhere as well, yeah? Right? Surely. Oh yeah, there we go. Now we've got my stuff back. Which means we're severely over encumbered. Oh well. It also means we can re-equip our thingies. Which ones were we using before? Matters little, I suppose. All right. Uh, these are really expensive. Bear trap fist, though. Also pretty expensive. Uh, drop one of the binoculars. I'm just trying to see what I can do. What do you mean I can repair a helmet with glasses? Sure. All right, I can move now. There's a lot of crap on the floor, and I still haven't. The finished listing all of the items that have been added to me right now. So that's that. Right. Anyway, I think it's time to return to the apartment for a bit. I'm not entirely sure I should go ahead and hunt down my companions because it doesn't really matter. Why can't I just travel straight into my thingy? Hello. Move along. Just completely ignore the fact that I killed your leader. Yeah. Just ignore it. Lucky 3038 is now my house. Quite simply, just my house. Oh, that's a dismissal terminal. No, 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 that's fine. Let's go to the penthouse for a bit. I suppose I no longer have anyone to sell the things to. How unexpected. But then how do I put away my thing? How? No idea. Okay, I'll just uh, go ahead and put things in these things. I guess the most things we got were outfits. That's a nice amount of chips, if I may say so myself. Alright, guess it's time to go and sell the stuff. Whatever little stuff we can sell. How much can we sell here? Alright, this is a bug UI. Never mind. Alright, I'll take the steel. And then we can go ahead and look elsewhere as well. Which reminds me, I should actually set up my weapons again. What was he using anyway? Sniper rifle maybe? And Bozar? Probably. And other than that, I really can't recall. We'll see how it goes. It feels odd to be back. I feel like the Sierra Madre took a lifetime 
primarily because I took a hiatus during the Sierra Madre bit. Probably. Alright, let's go to the gun runners. Because the gun runners have money. Welcome, sir or ma Yes. Alright, I accidentally accepted the deal that was not ideal, but okay. Goodbye. Come back and Okay, now what I wanted to do here I think was this. Yeah. So now this sniper rifle is a bit more effective, I guess. It's lighter for a start. But now we shall head on over to Gibson. Because Gibson is renowned for having their money. Their money. Not just money. But the big money. Come on. Wake up. So you're back. Uh show me what you got for sale. Happy to do it. Excellent. There better be something good here. We've got two spatulas. Wow. I have this incendiary and let's call it a deal. See ya. Pleasure doing business with you. Bye. Okay, now we're gonna head to the dinosaur. Straight in it. Chip goes when broken man calls. Hello, who are you? Where are you hiding here? Sir? Sir? What are you doing here, sir? 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 Can I stay on your head? No, sir. So why do you not allow me to stay on your head? I might have to step on your head and stay there. Right, maybe I'll just push you out of there. No, you don't want to be pushed out. Okay. So when will the ambush happen? What can I do for you? We can trade. Yeah. Apparently we cannot trade a lot. I sure have a boss gun. Alright, I'll call that a deal. Pleasure doing business with you. See ya. Uh, it's difficult, you know, after a, a long mission, a long time of, you know, being constantly surrounded by traders and then coming to an area with traders again. Like, that guy doesn't have money. Like, literally, no money there. So instead, we're gonna look here. Yeah. You should have the bill, Welcome back. the money, for the honey. Sure yeah. Thing. Have a look. Yeah, you got some money. Not a lot of it. I guess that's the most I can really hope out of this. Okay, thanks for the deal. See you around, buddy. Come. Do I... I think I'm light enough. Alright, so... I guess our next goal is to go and check the big empty. And get ourselves all nice and cut up. Yeah. It's been a while since we beat the Nipton. It's good to see the town is still on fire. Like... Over 50 episodes later, I'm sure. Alright. Let's switch to this bad boy. Oh, I forgot to get Scrounger. Instead I got more Endurance. Which I forgot to trade in for an implant. God damn it. Guess that's okay. What did you find? But we're really driving already, apparently. What are the enemies around here? Oh, it's more rats. You. Look at that! Brilliant ground texture. I suppose it looked a little bit cute.
I'm gonna assume this is the object of interest here. Oh. So we need to wait for the midnight showing of this thing. Sounds like a trap. It's surprising that he took a bullet and didn't notice it. At all. Nice. You bug. When someone's in caution. The rest of the enemies are all in that direction somewhere. Tell us that. That's probably not an enemy. You take the higher ground. The vantage point. Or add vantage point as I keep it constantly calling those things. Yeah. Alright, well. That's dead rat. So it's that. Alright, I think we can just wait until midnight now. Yeah. You know, we've been going at this long enough, so I'll leave the next part for next time. Thanks for watching, I'll see you then. So why do I need to wear a patient gown when I can just go for Joshua Graham's armor? Or is it just to take a look at me, bum bum?